is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a product test for you. I will be testing the new Huda Beauty Not Your Mama's Pantyhose or Nymph. This is her like liquid body highlighter. I have the shade Luna which is the lightest shade and I will be testing this out. I think I'm going to do half my face and then I'll also try it on my legs for you guys to kind of show you guys what that looks like, how it feels, how it sets, um, and stuff like that. So real quick, I want to give you a couple of details on this. So I've only used it as like a, a highlight on my face once. Uh, and other than that, I haven't really used it at all. This thing is 1.85 fluid ounces, so it's almost double the size of like your regular foundation. And this is what the packaging looks like. It is a fairly big bottle and it literally just looks like liquid highlighter. And when I was using it on my face as highlight, it did kind of... Uh, set pretty quickly, so I'm not quite sure how how fast you have to work with it. So this thing is definitely a little bit of a splurge. It was $49. I bought it from Sephora when they had their like VIB Rouge sale. Um, I'm only VIB, so I have 15% off. But I figured it was a big enough bottle. I could use it for a couple of different things. And so, I don't know. I splurged on it. I normally don't for something like this. But okay, let's jump into like the use wear test. So I know she also has a brush that you can buy along with this, but I think it's like a $30, 30 plus dollar brush. So I was like, no, there's no way I'm spending money on that. So I didn't. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use um, this on this side of my face only, and then I will finish the rest of my makeup and see if it makes a difference because I know she's been advertising using this under your foundation to give yourself a glow. Uh, so we're going to try that. So I just took a small squirt on a like flat top brush and I'm going to try to just work this in as fast as I can. Okay, so this was one pump and I was able to get it to spread, I would say pretty evenly. Um, across my face let me just close up you can I mean you can definitely tell this side is way way shiny and like metallic and glowy um, and a little bit excessive but I do like the color that it is against my skin I also want to say that it is super lightweight like I put an entire pump on the side of my face and I literally cannot feel that I have product on the side of my face versus don't on this side so so far so good um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my very favorite foundation right now. And uh, I'm going to put on a full face just very quickly, how I usually do it with kind of my normal tools, just to see how makeup lays on top of it versus just on bare face and then show you guys kind of what that looks like. So I'm just going to be zooming through this. Okay, so I just finished my makeup real quick. This I did not spend very long on this. It's kind of like a neutral smoky eye. And to remind you, this is a side with Huda Beauty and this is a side without. So on camera, I'm not sure if you could tell at all like that this side had it and this side can't. But I'll just let you know what I see in the mirror. So this Luna shade, I feel like turned my foundation just a hair warmer. Like it's a little more golden on this side of my face than this side. Also on this side, I feel like I have my pop of highlighter and then the rest is kind of matte, like natural finish versus on this side. I still have my pop of highlighter, but my face is glowing. Like I feel like as I move, the light is catching like on all parts of my face but it's not in like a sweaty way, you know what I mean? Like it's more even, less gross than like a sweaty way. Like it's a very like glowy finish, which I really like. Um, I feel like it might just be a little too much for like everyday type of wear. Like I feel like, you know, if I'm going out, stuff like that, mm, yeah, I will probably be using this the way I did, but I think if I were to use it on like a more daily natural basis, I might actually mix this with foundation before putting on my, oh, sorry, I might mix it with moisturizer before putting on my foundation. I do like the finish. It doesn't feel any different. The only thing is I, I had to use more product on this side, like bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, blended differently, eyebrow product. Like I had to use more of it to get it to show up on this side for some reason, but it blended just as well, if not better than this side without it. So I have no complaints so far. So let's move on to using this 
elsewhere. Hey, okay, so obviously I'm in like a whole different look. So I actually filmed this next part the day that I did like the rest of my video and I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm gonna refilm it and kind of like try to get it right this time. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try one leg just using the Huda Beauty Nymph and then the other leg I'm going to mix it with moisturizer just to show you guys like a couple different ways to wear it because I felt like when I was using it on my face and like only using the Nymph it was like really really extra so I'm hoping diluting it with some moisturizer on the other side would kind of make it a little bit more wearable um, but before I get into that I just want to let you guys know that when I did film it the first time I realized that it doesn't really ever set so if you like I just want to get that out of the way first in case I forget to mention it at the end when you're using this stuff like basically when I used it the first time on my legs even after it sat on my legs for like 15 20 minutes half an hour it would still like rub off when I you know if I were to like rub my hands on my legs which I feel like you know if you're gonna go out like on the town and stuff like that it might not matter to you but for me I just don't know how I would like get into a car with cloth seats without getting it everywhere like if you're wearing shorts you know in my opinion I feel like this product is not that great for body highlight if you are going to be like you know sitting on something or like coming in contact with other things using it on your face makes more sense because you're not like rubbing your face against stuff maybe on your arms too would be great but I would just be careful with how much you're using and what you will be doing just because it is not actually transfer proof so watch out for that okay so on this side by the way I'm just in natural light like I don't have any lights on right now um, so this is what my legs look like in natural light. They're honestly probably a little dry, but you know, we're going to go with it. This side, I'm going to be using just Huda Beauty Nymph, and then this side, I'm going to be mixing it with moisturizer. I'm just using, this is the Hemp Sensitive Skin Moisturizer. So I found about four or five pumps is kind of the right amount for an entire leg. So one, two, three, four, let's do five just to be extra. And it like it's very liquidy and it wants to rub in right away which is nice but you want to be very quick with it otherwise you're not gonna be able to move it and then it'll be a little bit patchy so just as I'm saying that sentence it's already starting to set it does smell pretty nice you guys so that's a bonus all right so here we go so that is what it looks like. You can see it like kind of turned my leg a different color and it is definitely a lot more glowy than this side. This kind of, <laughs> I feel like this side just looks anemic now that I have it on this side. Um, and like I said, this is just in natural light. I feel like I really like how this looks. So on my left leg, I'm just going to take one like pretty generous pump of moisturizer with just one pump. Let's just do one just to see how it looks. One pump of Huda Beauty and Nymph. I am rubbing that together on my hands first before putting this on my legs. So I have found that actually when you're using moisturizer with it, it doesn't set as fast. Ew, my hair is like everywhere. But yeah, it doesn't set as fast because your moisturizer doesn't set that fast like it's meant to absorb. So, okay. I also realized I have a bruise on my knee. I ran to a table at work. Anyway, so here is what my legs look like. And I feel like the side where I mix it with moisturizer gives me like a very healthy glow that I feel like is believable versus on this side, I just feel like it's so extra to the point where like people know that I put something on it. You know what I mean? Okay, so I also wanted to show you close up a little bit. I realize this is super awkward. My legs probably look like hot dogs. But on this side is just nymph and on this side is with moisturizer and i don't know if you can tell like you can definitely tell kind of by my knee here but you can tell that it's metallic you see what i mean versus this side is more natural so i feel like i just feel like wearing it alone is too extra because it just it looks metallic instead of like a healthy sheen glow but just by rubbing like my leg you can tell that like especially up here, it just transfers right off. And I just, my hands were clean before sitting down here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
I do want to say that the product is not sticky. Like I, I think I mentioned that when I use it on my face, it is not sticky. It actually washes off really easily, like just a little bit of hand soap and it just washes off. And so that's nice too, because it's not sticky. It's not like slimy or anything like that. Like you just, once you put it on and it sets, like you don't feel it at all, like on your body or your face. So I really like that. I have really been enjoying using it as like a pop of highlight. I just feel like it's just, I haven't found a good opportunity yet to wear it on my face, under my foundation, everywhere, but I feel like if you're going to use this on the rest of your body when you go out, like bring a towel to sit on, um, at least in your car, you know, because you don't want to get that all sparkly. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!